There we go, a little bit of testing on the bench, uh, just to assure you that this is the prior version, because if you look at the top right hand side there, you can see the 0840C. Okay, so now you've got the email there, which tells you that somebody sent you the installation file. There we go, open it. That's what's inside there. Download it if you can. This is waiting for drivegoogle.com. Okay, and save the file. Right then, let's go and try and find it in our save files. Click go to the directory. There it is in our temporary files. D install zip. And if you open it, extract all, OK, extract all, and there are three files inside there. This is the installation procedure, this one, and the second one below, which is the XML document, can be copied to uh, my USB drive. USB drive here. Pop it in. Up we come. We'll shut that one down. And we'll drag this over to Ideas Farm. And we'll drag this one over here to Ideas Farm. A bit more inside that one. About 21 megabytes altogether. It's taken a while. There we go. So if we look in inside Ideas Farm, you now got those two files there. We go back. If you want a step by step procedure, open this document. There we go. We've got our document there. Gives you a step by step run through what you need to do, including pictures and all sorts of things. But essentially, it's a very straightforward operation. And if we remove the USB drive by doing it the right way around and clicking to unload it, take it out. We'll show you how to do it on the PLC itself. In order to load the USB stick and provide um, a tool to get into the reset button you're going to need something thin like this paper clip or a small screwdriver so we'll get the USB stick we've got our USB slot there inside the thing all the way around it goes into the PLC while the PLC is running and the timing of this is very important you pop your tool inside the reset button there and just you can just feel the end of it at least you can if you've got it straight and the sequence of pressing is very quick. On, off, on, two, three, release. Right, that has set the PLC into a thing called boot mode and hopefully it's going to suck out the program. I'm not going to keep this going for the entire process of sucking out the program, but you'll notice that the screen has gone dead. That's going to happen for a while and I'll come back to you when it restarts. All sorts of various lights flash on and off on the PLC, but uh, I think we've allowed a little bit of time there. You'll see the CET light flashing on and off, and it should hopefully do the compact flashlight in a minute. There we go. When you see the RF flashlight come on, you know that it's uh, loading its program from its local memory, and hopefully that's going to come up in just a moment with Rev D. Custom Solvac, there we go, IF0840D, and that is a successful upload of the program from the USB stick. We're all running, so you've got it there. Now, we'll just get in and have a quick look. 27378, oops, it shouldn't say that. Right, 
Now it's lost all its parameters, so the parameters will all have to be put in, so you will need to follow all the details. But if we go back here, you can set the language, go into parameters. That's my fingernails giving you a problem. English, Portuguese, and everything changes. There we go, success.